Today I'm going to show you my method to turn a 2D sprite into a 3D model. In the past, I've tried different methods to get the results I wanted. First, I tried to build up a model from nothing but just by looking at the references. It was okay, but it didn't come out the way I wanted. After numerous attempts, I had to try something new. Then I tried the method I'm going to show you today. I'm so much happier with the results, and it took less time to come out way better. So let's show you what I did. The very first thing we're going to need to do is cut out the sprite. I usually use GIMP to cut off my front, back, and side views off my sprite sheet. Let's open up Magical Voxel, and then we're going to drag in our front, back, and side view. I'll position them so I can see them while I create the model. Then we pull up the side view and position them on each side of the model. I then copy the side view and copy it as many times as I need to to be the same width as the front and the back. This will give us a good base to start with because the side views, if made properly, will give a good sense of depth. So what we're going to do is we're going to erase from the front or back to see the same color that we erased. If the sprite was made properly, we should get a good 3D image coming out of that. Generally sprites use multiple shades of the same color. I normally just consider them all the same color, so I will recolor them all the same shade of blue eventually. Let the 3D rendering engine handle the shadows. So here you can see me cutting through the back and getting the back half done. Then I move to the front. Unfortunately, Toad doesn't have a nose, so I do my best to make a face. It looks reasonable. Then I just keep working my way down the front. I'll stop and look around to make sure I haven't cut too deeply, but generally this gives a good start. Normally I get to this point and one half will look better than the other side. I have a trick for that in a minute, but at this point the front and back should start looking pretty good. Now it's going to be time to fix the sides. If you did your job right, this should be pretty easy, but some of the details may look weird on the side. You need to make sure the shapes are there that you want, and remove any extra space on the sides that shouldn't have been there. Just clean them up a bit. Make sure your colors match from all angles, and look to make sure that there isn't any weirdness that you don't see in 2D. It'll generally show up somewhere, so you'll have a couple pixels here and there to clean up. It's generally not a lot. A block here or there can really make a large difference. Remember to take a look at your references, but don't worry about them so much at this point. You still have to do a little bit of artistic expression. Now it's time for the trick. Whichever side you want, uh, make it absolutely look perfect. Do all your changes on the one side and, not, and forget about the other one for now. Once everything looks perfect, go ahead and select the half you don't like and delete it. Now you're going to copy the half you do like, paste it back in, and then flip it. Once you flip it to the correct axis, you can position your model so there sh should be an awesome side on both sides. If you stuck around until now, subscribe. I'll have more behind the scenes of this work I was doing on a Mario Kart style game. I'll be showing some more how-tos as I make progress. You can check out my first week's project video up above. If you have an example of converting 2D to 3D models, post a link in the comments. I'd love to see it. Alright, see you in the next video.